Along with your all-purpose glue, a small can of it will do. This is all you'll need. Okay. Put a little dab of glue all around your pipe and on the inside a quarter inches long and just glue it into your adapter, thread to slip bushing. You just take these two pieces, thread them together. It's plastic on plastic. It seals real nice. It doesn't have to be too tight. <clears throat> goes in just like that. Pull them in the middle and just spread them out apart just like that and just separate it a little. Start it in one end and just force it about roughly not quite halfway on this end. This is going to be the end where it enters in. <clears throat> but you got to get it good and tight in there guys. And I just use a a screwdriver and just pack it in. When you're all done and this is packed in there you should only, if you force this about close to the center of the tube, you should only have about maybe an inch right here where it isn't got any stuff in it. Do your next one Start it in. Just force it down a little at a time. If you try and do too much, it'll get stuck in there. See, like that. So I'm going to go around it. And you want it to be packed pretty good. And so I packed this side into that side pretty tight. And after you get this packed in, you'll have about two inches on this end where there is none of the packing. You'll want to take your glue and put some in here on the inside of your vinyl tubing. This is an all-purpose glue, PVC, ABS, and vinyl too. It doesn't matter. Just drop your chain links in. And there you go. And then you pop the end in. The chain leaks hold this back so it won't ever plug your end. And we're good to go. You might have to loosen this a little once it's stretched over. And I just put it in about an eighth of an inch or so. And we're good to go. And there we go. I really appreciate the comments I got on Facebook, guys. A lot of people were commenting about the foamates they've been getting and the quality construction of them. And that really pleases me to hear that. And so there you go. That's tight around there once that glues, that's, that'll never pop out if you don't want it to. 
Now this piece gets screwed into here. Once again, it's plastic on plastic. It doesn't have to be too awful tight. It seals real nice. Well, that's about as tight as it's going to get. So, good to go. Now, before I insert this in here, I like to put the valves in. The quarter inch valve is for the fluid, so it goes on the side. I just put them in with pliers. And when they're done going in, they should be up just like that, and it's pointing square out. If you look at that, how far that is away, though, it looks like it could go in maybe one more full rotation. So I'm going to take it in that full rotation. That's good and tight. They don't have to be terribly tight. The reason I do this, guys, is because I just... It doesn't have to. I mean, it could point up, but I just like these uh, the rotation of this to point downward. And I want to be able to gauge it when I'm putting it in on uh, for this one. So, but while we're at it, we'll just do the back. The air one as well. Just a little. And there we go. Running a little low on my glue. Just put a film on there. Make sure it gets a little film on there. Ah, oops. Always be sure and put the hose clamp on first that way you don't have to take it all the way apart to get it on I'm going to open it up just a little bit so that thing slips in a little easier there that glue's not dried up that's a lot better And it should slip on real easy if your glue is still wet. I just keep that one about about that far in on the. And that's it, guys. That's your end nozzle ready to go. Valves and all.